Welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm just going to look at a rather unique feature of the Mega MTR105 with a three phase insulation test function that's available on it. Now as with the temperature compensation this is a unique feature that's not available on either the Keysight or the MetraHit coil so the MTR105 is in its own little category here and the three phase insulation test works off any of the test voltages available on the instrument. It always defaults to a standard IR test to get to three phase. You just press one of the selection buttons there. Now what I'm going to use is the little three phase motor I have here to demonstrate this test. If I wake him up you can see that I've actually removed the three links. So this is now an open winding configuration which is the only time you'd use a three-phase insulation test function. Now when I test three-phase motor in this manner, I actually link two of the phases together and then to earth, and then I would test between earth and the remaining phase. So if we look at the motor here, got U1, V1, W1. So my first step would be to link V1 to W1, as I have there. So then I take her the second lead off of W1 and take it straight to motor earth, which you'll do on there. And then with regards to my insulation tester, will be a two terminal test. I'll be able to connect one right in the middle. Let's, let's move him so he's not right over the uh, terminal box. And then I'll take the other one and go that one to remaining winding connection there. So there you see I'm measuring U1 with respect to V1, W1 and to earth. So what that would give me is a complete reading of the insulation resistance of this winding to the other two windings and consequently to earth. A slight alternative to that would be to use the guard terminal uh, which this MTR105 has and has actually um, another unique feature of it. So to use that, I would remove this link that takes the two windings to earth, and I would connect the guard terminal onto the two windings that are not under direct test. And that way I would then get a true reading of this winding just to earth, as any leakage into the other two windings will be taken away via this guard terminal on the insulation tester. But what MEGA offer with this three phase test is to connect up to all three windings and do three separate insulation tests. So what I will just go and do, what I found out is that this is a time test, but it seems to always default to one minute. So just swing him around to the settings and zoom in a little bit, pull him forward. So if I go through my settings, you can see the timed insulation is set to 30 seconds there, but that doesn't seem to affect this particular three phase test. Always does it just for one minute. So we'll go back to that. So what's on here, I can hit the help button and you can see it gives me the connections there. Red, black and blue, onto L1, L2, L3. And We'll do that, zoom back out. So we'll just drop them onto the winding now. So you can see there, there's my three connections onto the winding. And move them out of the way. So it'll be a 250 volt test and it'll run for three minutes. So I'll just hit the go button and you'll see what it does.
So we're into the final 30 seconds of the test and you can see how it operates. It does the first test of L1 to L2, flashing away the phase that's under test, then L2 to L3, and then finally L3 to L1. And you can see that despite the time function being set to 30 seconds, it still just does it as a one minute test. So there doesn't appear to be a way around that. There you go, that's the result done. So it gives you quite a nice screenshot at the end. Let's zoom into him a little bit, hopefully. Yeah, so it gives me a nice little summary of the test there. Obviously I can save that. Yeah, it gives me the resistance reading between each of the phases, test voltage and the current, which it doesn't have enough resolution to display the current. So that's that test completed. Um, obviously it's reasonably useful if you have a lot of motors that are star delta controller and you have access to uh, an open winding configuration. Uh, my downside or my thoughts to this on the downside of this, although I do phase to phase test, that's fine. I also do a phase to earth test. So for me it would have been nice if Mega, instead of using this connection here uh, for, zoom in, so they have this connection here for a remote probe function. I don't find that very useful for a motor. What I would prefer to have seen is that to be a fourth terminal for this test. So I could have had the three connected up to the winding and then taken this one onto the motor case. So I could then have done phase to phase test and then each phase to earth as a second part of the test, which is what you would do anyway. Um, so that would have added more functionality to me, it would have got rid of something that isn't quite as useful for me personally and given me a, another extended test function that would have made the instrument even more unique. Uh, the other thing that would have also been able to do is you'd been able to perhaps be able to set up the configuration so that I could have done the same kind of testing that I'm used to which would be to earth out and then just test the remaining phase and then swap the connections over. But it is what it is. As I say, if you do a fair bit of open winding testing, it could be useful for you. It is very unique. It's very rare to see that in an insulation tester. Certainly not on any of the other instruments that I'm using for the comparison. So yeah, I'm going to have to give the MTR105 five points and the other two, because they haven't got the facility at all, I'm going to give them uh, one point each just because you could do this testing, but obviously there's a, a little bit more wire swapping involved. Okay, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful and a good insight into one of the unique functions of the MTR105. What I would like to do is demonstrate the use of the guard terminal a bit more, um, but I need to set up another test rig for that. Um, so that will be in the future at some point. So I think in the next test, I'll probably move on to the, some of the functions at the bottom end of the rotary switch such as the resistance and capacitance and inductance test capabilities.